Hey everybody, it's Scott here from International Safety. Um, what I've got in front of me here today is an Oxy 6000 from Dragger. Um, we're going to actually open it up today. We're going to show you how to don it um, and also show you how to properly inspect it before each shift. So stay tuned uh, and look forward to going through this with you. So as I mentioned, this is an Oxy 6000. Um, Oxy 6000 um, is also available in the Oxy 3000 model. Really the difference between the two, your 3000 is going to provide you 30 minutes of escape oxygen, um, whereas your 6000 is going to provide you 60 minutes of escape oxygen. When you want to use this is if you're in a confined space, a tunnel, a mine, uh, and there's a hazard where you might have a fire underground or you might have a gas leak of some sorts um, and that breathing air that you would usually breathe on a day-to-day -day basis under there um, becomes immediately dangerous, dangerous to your life and health. Um, so we call that IDLH. This unit here is going to provide you, it's actually going to turn your exhale breath it back into oxygen that you can breathe back in, um, in a low profile kind of configuration rather than having a full-on SCBA hanging on your wall. You can get this unit so that it attaches to your hip. You can have a shoulder strap that attaches over your shoulder. Um, sometimes we just see people have a hand strap even that you can carry it around, put it down, do your, do your work, grab it, and move on to the next thing. All these configurations are available through our website um, and we can definitely help make recommendations based on the hazards in your environment uh, and in your workplace. So I'm going to go through how to inspect your Oxy before each shift. Um, whether you keep this in a Pelican case or you actually keep it on yourself, um, all these checks should be done before each shift because the last thing you want to do is have this unit not perform properly in the event of an emergency. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the unit itself and I'm going to inspect it for any dents. Uh, we say dents bigger than about a quarter uh, are the ones that you should be worried about. Um, so any dents within the unit itself, any cracks in the plastic top housing here, um, what you, if you see any of that, you're going to want to take this unit out of service immediately uh, and have it either replaced or repaired if possible um, before you actually bring it back into service. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at your red indicator, or your red locking hasp right here. If you notice any signs of wear, uh, any white marks on this, um, again, you're going to want to have that removed out of service and replaced as soon as possible. Lastly, what I'm going to look at is your moisture indicator right here. So this moisture indicator, you're going to have a card that comes with your Oxy uh, and that card is going to show you essentially if it's brown, it's still good for service. But if you have any hue of green on your moisture indicator or, or you see any fragments of the actual moisture, moisture indicator in this clear window, again, you're going to want to have to the Oxy either replaced or repaired on before you are able to put it back into service. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to open this unit up um, and we'll show you how to properly don it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the hasp on the top. That's going to essentially release all these straps here um, and then I'm going to take the top housing off. Once I get into the unit, I'll have a yellow strap. I'm going to pull that and I'm going to have the neck strap that I can put around my neck. Once I have that, I'm going to be able to pull the mouthpiece out, put the mouthpiece in, and then attach my nose, nose clip there, and that will actually activate the Oxy itself. From there, I'm going to have goggles to put on, and then I'm going to tighten up all my straps, and then I'm going to be safe and ready to exit. So I'm going to start opening this up now, um, and we'll show you how to do it. So again, first thing I'm going to do that clip and then I'm actually going to take the top off the Oxy. Set that aside. So now that it's open from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this yellow strap here and I'm actually going to pull the actual Oxy out itself. So once the Oxy is free you can discard this, set that aside and then you have your Oxy ready to start donning. So basically I'm going to take this yellow strap, put it over my neck, and then I'm going to pull the mouthpiece out. So once the mouthpiece is pulled out, that's when the Oxy act is actually activated and ready to go. So your breather bag's going to come out here, 
and then I'm gonna pull my out piece out and actually put it in. So once you have your mouthpiece in, you're gonna to want to attach your nose clips over your nose. Attach your waist belt around your waist and then tighten that up. Tighten your neck strap to make it comfortable. What you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to pull the goggles out from underneath the oxy unit itself and put those over your eyes. That'll protect your eyes from any smoke or any other gases that might be present in the air. And now you're ready to escape. So once you're safely out of your environment, you can remove your mouthpiece, remove your nose piece, and remove your goggles, and you're good to go. So again, my name's Scott from International Safety. That's the proper donning and inspection procedure for your Oxy 6000. Um, if you have any questions on these units, please feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you. Um, or drop a comment in the section below um, and somebody will get back to you there.